Today, I want to show you my vintage t-shirt collection. I've been curating vintage tees now for over four years. This first one is a 1991 Pittsburgh Zoo t-shirt. It is single stitch and on the Hanes beefy tee tag. I'm from Pittsburgh, so when I found this shirt, I was super excited. It's got a super cool nature graphic on it and this little Pittsburgh Zoo hit on the sleeve. Next is this 1992 Lollapalooza t-shirt. It's got some crazy cool bands on here and uh, every single place that they stopped along the way for this festival. The Red Hot Chili Peppers were the headliner of this concert, and I think that's super sick. This tee is also single stitch on the soft tee tag. And yeah, the colors just pop on this thing, so I love it. This tee is a super thrashed late 90s Harley Davidson tee. As you can see, there's just holes throughout it. It's got some crazy fading to it. It's double stitch, but like literally everywhere is just distressed. Like the neck is practically falling apart, but I just love this t shirt. This tee I found back in 2020. And I got it for a super good price. It's honestly one that I get complimented on the most just because I feel like not too many people have seen it. It's a late 90s Mighty Ducks t-shirt, single stitch on the Salem tag. Another nature tee that I've had for about three years now is this 1990 Earth Day t-shirt, single stitch and on a good Stedman tag. Not too many flaws, just this little hole in the top here. Other than that, super cool piece. Next is another Pittsburgh Grail for me, 1992 Betty Boop. Pittsburgh Pirates t-shirt. It's single stitch, tags missing, but other than that, no flaws. I just love these Betty Boop tees that um, are like collaborations with major sports teams. This is one that I snagged off Depop this past summer. It's an early 90s Colorado Rockies t-shirt. Just a nice double-sided graphic, single stitch on the Artex tag. This one's honestly probably my least expensive shirt in my collection. 1989 Hard Rock Cafe Toronto t-shirt, single stitch on the Good Hanes heavyweight tag. Just a nice everyday wear type of t-shirt. Picked up this 1994 USA World Cup t-shirt a couple months ago at a vintage event. It's on the Red Bar Anvil tag, size large, single stitch, and in super good condition. I just love any of the 1994 World Cup stuff. This 1996 Bulls tee, it's an XL on the Logo 7 tag, but it's just a super cool piece. It's from the 72 win season, double stitch, no flaws, and just overall a super nice oversized tee. Running it back with another Pittsburgh Grail. This is an early 90s Strip District t-shirt. Size XL on the Fruit of the Loom best tag, single stitch. I just think the graphic on this one is super cool, a piece you don't see every day. So I'm super big on collecting caricature t-shirts, specifically any caricatures that have to do with the 1992 Dream Team. My logo for my business is actually uh, mimicked from this USA Basketball logo that they use to this day. But yeah, this one just has the tournament details on the back. So it's got all the countries listed with the flags, which I thought is super cool. And then of course, all of them as caricatures on the front. And then this one is super unique because it's one of the only t-shirts from that 90, 1992 Dream Team that features Christian Leitner and Clyde Drexler. They were left out of mo most of the merchandise sold from that year, as well as all of the promotional stuff. They're not even on the posters for that tournament, which I think is kind of crazy. It's on the official fan tag, single stitch, and just a cool caricature. If you're into vintage tees, I'm sure you've seen this one before. It's a Levi's 501 jeans promo t-shirt. Just says button your fly. Nice faded wash to it. On the street tee tag, size large, single stitch. Another distressed tee that I love a lot just because of the graphic and the fact that it's a movie promo tee is this 1992 Wayne's World Knot t-shirt. It's on the Fruit of the Loom tag, some distressing around the neck and back of the neck. As you can see, there's quite a bit of holes in the front of it, but... Just a super cool one, um, not one you see too often, and I feel like a lot of people are after. The Sopranos is my favorite TV show of all time, so I'm definitely looking to expand on this collection. But as of right now, I've got the Bada Bing tee on the Sopranos tag. It was like the Gildan heavyweight, I'm pretty sure, but yeah, this tee's from 2000. Of course, we got Citrell's, the pork store, with the little Sopranos hit on the back. The tag is missing, but this was the same tag as the last one, the Sopranos tag. I got this early 90s Charlotte Hornets mascot tee right before I moved down here to Charlotte. It's on the Salem tag, single stitch. Some distressing around the collar, but honestly, I love that in a t-shirt. The graphic is just super cool on this thing. The colors really pop, and it's definitely one of my favorite tees in my closet. Another staple that you've definitely seen if you're into vintage tees, just an early 90s uh, camel t-shirt. A little pocket on the front there for your SIG, single stitch. So yeah, pack of camels riding bikes on the back there. And the last tee in my closet, and again, one of my favorites, is this faded uh, mid-90s Penguins t-shirt on a good size large Delta tag, single stitch, no flaws, and just a clean graphic of Mario Lemieux and Yamir Yager. 
Hope you enjoyed watching that video. Let me know down below in the comments if I should do a video on my crewnecks, jackets, and more of an outerwear type thing. But as always, thank you for watching.